Okay, so first thing you do is you locate your horn and find the two wires that are connected to your horn. One will be ground and one will go up to your fuse panel. And in this case, it's that 15 amp fuse there on the right hand side, the one on the far right. The next thing that we do is we're just mounting, in this case, a compressor with two trumpets. And as you can see, we've just mounted them really securely in here and making sure that this is nice and secure, uh, making sure that when we hook up our air lines and we wire it off that this isn't having to double back on itself. And uh, also learned that you mark the positive and negative because sometimes you just can't see underneath to see which is positive and negative on the compressor. So now that that's mounted, we will move on to connecting the wiring and the hornetic unit. Right, so we've got the hornetic unit and this is the relay that came with the horn. So it's nice that they include this. Some kits will include wires along with uh, a wire that'll go with a fuse to your power. So what we'll be doing is connecting up to this and there's lots of markings on it that tell you you know what the numbers are for the different things different uh, pins on the bottom and those match up to the instructions that come in the hornetic so next we'll be opening up the hornetic unit and i'll be talking about that so every hornetic unit when you open the box uh, comes with a set of uh, instructions that i will just quickly um, open up here with one hand of course uh, so one side written instructions the other side has two different connections one is for connecting without a compressor the other just shows it with a compressor basically it's wiring exactly the same just the horn is different and inside you have your hornetic broken hornetic module <laughs> yeah dropping things here on my video all right so output 85 and 86 and that connects up for the wires here and matches to the numbers on there and horn in on this side positive and negative which talks about this so what we're first going to do is we're going to check to see which is positive or confirm which is positive and which is negative and then we're going to start hooking things up okay so i'm just using a, a standard ohm meter and i've just got it set so that when i touch these two together it gives me continuity so what I'm going to do is just confirm that the black wire that I've done here is actually giving me continuity to the frame of the car. There we go. Okay, so what I've done is I've split, cut the wires, I've put on some heat shrink, and I've just reconnected the wires, and it's just the hornetic positive to positive, negative to negative. I've soldered the wires here uh, for best connection and now I'm just going to slip the heat shrink over top and I'm going to shrink that on. So what I've done is I've put a spade connector on 86 and I've connected a short wire to 85 with a spade connector to another one to a spade connector. So the first one is going to go to 85. The second one is going to go to number 30. And then the length of cable that I've left connected is going to go to the fuse that goes to the battery. So the battery will provide power to the relay and will jumper to 85 to provide power to our hornetic unit. Uh, I've used blue wire here. You can use yellow. I just ran out of yellow wire. So. So as you can see, I've connected this all up to the relay now. And all I've done is I've pulled a red wire off of number 87, and that will go to the positive on our second horn. And I've just pushed the wires on. As you can see, there's the jumper between number 30 and number 85. And there's 86 is connected to the red. All right, and there we go. And that's all that we need to worry about there. So, so what we've done here is we ran this blue wire, right? If you remember from the number 30 there, 
we ran it up over to our fuse and this I used a 30 amp fuse uh, it'll depend on what horn unit you use will tell you what size fuse some horns come with the fuse like I said some are 30 some are 40 amp but that just goes to your battery your 12 volt so you can either run it to the battery or as we did here to a 12 volt always on terminal okay now the red wire that came out of our uh, relay we wired up and you can see I ran it beside the the black wire so that goes to the positive and then the negative from our secondary horn goes up and what we did is we attached it to a strong body point where it's grounded now what we've done here is we've just connected the compressor and tucked it around to here and here and just made sure that we didn't crimp those air lines and we try to keep the air lines as short as possible just so that the compressor can quickly jump that power so the closer you can get the horns this type of horn anyways to the compressor uh, the more the, the faster it's going to fire off because it doesn't need to pressurize as much air inside the lines okay so we're going to test it so give it a regular beep okay Damn, that is loud. <laughs>